Boxing King Media in association with Boxer. Uh, here with a living legend. Carl, I was going to ask you, the fans are going to be curious to know, when did you get that call and what was your first reaction to getting told that you're going to be inducted into the Hall of Fame? I got the call Monday and my first reaction was, um, I was very excited, I was elated to be um, informed that I'm going to be in the class of 2023 International Boxing Hall of Fame. You can't be anything but happy. Come on, I've had a great career, but now it's been given the seal of approval. So, yeah, good news for me. What, what does it mean to you? Obviously, you've, you've achieved loads. You've fought some of the best fighters in your era. What does it mean to you compared to your past achievements? Well, it just solidifies all my achievements. So it adds to it. I mean, I can't... Nothing can take away from the career I've had. I mean, it's been amazing. But to be told I'm going to be going into the Hall of Fame, get my hand put in a concrete cast and get my name up there with all the stars of the past and... Um, you know, my name up there against against people like Thomas Hearns I and mean, Sugar Ray Leonard. It's just fascinating. It's amazing. And I'm guessing your family, obviously, they must be super proud of you. Absolutely, yeah. My brother, my older brother Lee is my biggest fan, my mum. And I spoke to Ron McCracken, my coach, yesterday. And um, he's, he's really pleased for me. And it's, it's, it's an accolade for him as well because he's been my coach from day one, from my whole pro career. And I couldn't have done it without him. I'm glad you mentioned Rob because that moves me nicely on to the other subject I'm going to talk to you about is Anthony Joshua is currently in the US apparently looking for a new coach. What's your thoughts on the whole process and the fact that he's obviously looks like he's moving on from Robert Garcia? I'm not interested in, in Anthony Joshua at all in the slightest. I've got nothing to say about him to be honest. That's pretty straightforward. Uh, quick one on Fury Chisora. Um, what did you think make of the fight? I thought um, Fury did what he had to do and Chisora played his part, he's just, Fury's just too big, he's too big, too heavy, he's, 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 he's fast, he's, he's just a, good, a great fighter isn't he? Probably one of the best heavyweights of all time, I mean, dare I say. Would you, would you have put him in there with Tyson and Lewis and uh, who knows? But it's just so hard to beat. Chisora played his part, but it wasn't nice to see him taking them big shots at the end, just getting hit at will. So I'm glad the ref stopped the fight. Um, did the ref stop the fight? Did the talk? I can't remember. Um, I think the ref stopped it, didn't he? So, yeah, I was glad to see it get stopped, and um, I, was glad, I was glad she's all got a payday, but I just hope, I hope he turns it in now. I know he loves the game and he wants to keep fighting, and he's, he's had an amazing career when you think what he's done for the, for the level he's had. I mean, he got knocked out by David Hay years ago, and then he's come back and he's done what he's done. Then he beat Pooh Lev, I was dead proud of him. Then he got the, um, the Fury fight, and he's had, he's had a nice little swan song there. He's had, a, he's had a payday at the end of his career, so I think it, he now needs to turn it in, but he'll do what he does, Derek Chisora. Last question on yourself. Do you feel like you should now be getting the credit that you probably... Because I feel like in your career when you was fighting, you probably never got the recognition that you probably should have deserved. I'm not really fussed, mate. I, I, I boxed because I enjoyed boxing. and I only turned pro because Ron McCracken convinced me that I was good enough to win a British title and a world title, and he was right. Um, I'm, I'm not interested, mate. I've got no ego at all. That's, that's why I retired at the top. I, I could have carried on fighting. I could have earned more money and I could have... I could have tried to, to, to do more and I think I could have probably done more. I could have had probably two more fights. Um, I'm 45 years old here now, I stood close to the weight, fit and strong and at, at 37, 38 years old, 39, I could have kept fighting and kept dominating, I think. Um, but I didn't do it because I'd achieved enough. I got three young kids at home and I had two at the time, I've got three now. And I just thought, it's curtains on my career, Wembley Stadium, what a way to bow out. Um, I retired from boxing, boxing didn't retire me. And now I'm, now I'm a Hall of Famer, the, the decision just, just gets, gets vindicated because it gets better and better with age. And um, yeah, I'm a very proud, very proud man. Like I said, I've got no ego. There's, there's, I, don't, I don't look for recognition off anybody. I have, I have the crack, I'll take the piss out of myself. Talk about 80,000 at Wembley Stadium. You're going to have to listen to me about when I got inducted into the Hall of Fame now. But, um, you know, I've got a lot to be proud of. I just want to say it's two, almost 2 a.m. and you've done hundreds of interviews and people talk about your ego quite a bit. You stood behind and gave me an interview and I appreciate that. So that Carl Flutch does not have an ego. Listen, you've angled out, mate, so no problemo. But, um, yeah, pleasure. Take care. Top man, thank you.